Hello, my name is Aaron Jeffries from Grace Lake Central High School. Um, uh, my teacher is Mrs. Lin, and I am going to teach you about how to use a hours, minutes, and seconds clock. Now, as you can see, I already have some code up, and it's just for the visuals, mostly. So I have variables uh, for seconds, minutes, and hours. I have labels that are connected to each uh, each hours, minutes, and uh, and seconds, second uh, labels, and the also the inputs that you will be setting them into. Um, I also have things that if it is lower than or uh, lower lower than basically a sing a single digit, um, it will put a zero in front of it, and if it isn't it won't and then that's same thing in this one um and so well, I feel this is uh this is actually just um if if the seconds are equal to zero it'll my but minutes is equal to one it'll subtract from subtract from the minutes and then reset the seconds and same thing for hours and minutes and I have a I have my start button down here at the bottom I called countdown and uh, in your start button you will be uh, putting one line of code that's it that's all you need so here's here's that one line of code so you're gonna type in timer dot scheduled timer and the, uh, this long one right here scheduled timer T uh, timer interval in time interval target dot 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 selector uh, selector basically this the longest one with the ti timer on the side of it like this you're gonna click on that one and it's gonna pop up this big one so time to interval is gonna be one unless you want it to go slower or faster if you want it to go faster you're gonna l um, do anything lower than one if you want it to go slower you will do anything above one easy peasy now you want it to target itself so easily target self now the select the selector is hashtag selector with the, the objective method inside the middle now it's going to show a little bit of an error right there because i'm going to go show you where the objective method is and it is the subjective function the subjective function is basically where our actual code is. So, here, I'm going to have you guys write one line of code. It's count sec minus equals one. Easy. Now, this, this line of code will continuously be uh, done over and over again. It, now, we, if we go back down... So inside this objective method, we are going to type in the name of that uh, objective, uh, the objective function, which is update timer. So go back and update timer. There you go. And that way, the selector will be update timer. Now, the user info will be nil because we do not need any info from the user who is using this at all now repeats is uh, true that way it loops and continuously does uh, looks through this objective function for anything that is true or not true all right and now now if one thing that we uh, do need is something inside of the set timer the set timer uh, is basically going to be setting the time of that you input into the into into these inputs, and it'll be setting it to the variables. So here's how we're going to do that. We are going to first type in the variable name. So count sec, uh, and then you're going to do space equals space int parentheses 
then you're gonna do the, the name of the label, or no, not the label, I'm sorry. Uh, you're gonna do the name of, of the input, which is second, is sec input dot text. Then you're gonna do question mark, question mark, then quotation marks, then on the outside you're going to do question mark question mark and then a zero. This is a convert this is a converting thing and this actually has to be capitalized, sorry. Uh, this is converting the converting the input into a uh, in integer. Now you're going to do this with uh, your other variables, uh, minutes and hours and then it will work. So let me just do that really quick, and then, and then we can test it. So let me just get this done. All right. So that should be it, and if we play. This should work, in theory. So let's just put a one in each one, just for, for testing. We press set time, that's great. Set the time just as we asked, and we press countdown, and there you go. And there you go, have it.